All right. All right. I think we're live. Good morning, folks, wherever you are out there. Welcome. You are listening to the Charge Life podcast. I am Joseph Bartletta, and this is where we discuss EVs and all things EV charging. So glad you could pull over and park with us today. Let's get started. Uh, hey, look, today's episode is all about Tesla's newest Gen 3 PowerShare mobile connector. You're going to love this one. Before we begin today's episodes, brought to you by Smart Charge America. Since tens, uh, since 2007, Smart Charge America has installed tens of thousands of EV charging stations nationwide, and they can do the same for you today. Whether it's in the home, commercial, or service, let their team of expert installation specialists guide you to the best charging solution for your electric car needs. After all, if you can't charge, you can't drive. Visit SmartChargeAmerica.com today to get started. Okay, subject matter, Tesla's newest Gen 3, or let's just say PowerShare mobile connector. So what we know and what we don't know here will be rather confusing for all of us, but here it goes. Okay. Again, all we have is speculation to go off of here because they're, they're saying that it, it was a, a leaked document, but you know, from what we know, um, we do have some internal Tesla insight, which is good. Okay. So we reached out to our Tesla charging team uh, uh, folks at, at headquarters and basically kind of inquired, hey, what's going on with this? Uh, we got the directions, we got the, you know, the PDF manual, everything uh, looks the same as the regular Gen 2 mobile connector. So like, what's different? And literally the response that we got from them was, it will have different adapters so you can power 120, 240 volt devices from the Cybertruck. That's what we got which is good news. Now we can anticipate, okay, well, we have different adapters, but Tesla already has adapters for the Gen 2 mobile connector on their website for sale. So I don't, I don't know. We, we, it, it's, this is difficult to kind of figure out. Like we were basically determining, okay, well, perhaps like there's some possible performance of like bi-directional power transfer, like maybe vehicle to vehicle, where let's say this way a Tesla Cybertruck and other future Tesla models uh, with the new PC, uh, PCS2 uh, system, they have the ability not only to deliver power to the other Tesla, but maybe also receive or siphon through that same connection. And you can't really do that with the, the regular Gen uh, 2 mobile connector. A Gen 2 mobile connector can only deliver power, it can't receive it. So maybe there's some functionality with regards to like siphoning power, like not only being able to deliver, but also siphon power. This seems for now like primarily a V2V function from what we see, like based on the hardware release, but we're pretty much in the dark. And like I said, only left with speculating uh, like everyone else at this point. But what we see is vehicle to load wise and vehicle to vehicle power transfer is something that we've seen other vehicles, newer EVs do. So this shouldn't be a surprise. However, the unique ability for the possibility of like siphoning power, like directly, that that might be that might be worthwhile pursuing. But um, you know, from what we see, the I guess the access to additional adapters would have the greatest impact for those looking to use their new cyber trucks for let's say all things camping or construction site environments. So that's pretty much what we know for right now. And so Looking at it, okay, so let's say you plug in the NEMA 1450, uh, you know, adapter to the back of the bed on the Cybertruck. All right, so then I can't, I, I can't figure out this uh, adapter thing, but my guess is that in addition to the 120 volt outlets in the cabin and in the bed and the NEMA 1450 outlet there that you would be able to plug in your, in the actual charger. Um, so this is in addition to, you'd be able to plug into your charger outlet uh, or inlet in the vehicle, the actual PowerShare mobile connector. And then on the other end of that, you'll have like a power bank or a power strip of a bunch of 120 volt outlets, or let's say a, a bunch of uh, 240 volt outlets. So we'll see exactly where that, uh, I guess, kind of goes. But for the most part, it, it does make sense. Like you are limited to the amount of power that you can use in the bed and in the cabin with regards to that 9.6 uh, kW. That's like the maximum power that 
we're seeing that you may be able to use kind of out of that. But if you, let's say you're maxing out of that and you use the PowerShare uh, mobile connector, well, then that might be able to allow, like they talked about, additional adapters for you to be able to use if, let's say, you're, I don't know, trying to run a band or a concert or a food truck or, or, or something, that output might be a little bit more than that 9.6, or it might be in, in addition to the 9.6. Maybe it's a, maybe it's 11.5. Uh, KW output on, on on that particular PowerShare mobile connector. We don't know, but look, we just wanted to bring this news to you guys. We did get a little bit of insight to, uh, from the Tesla team directly, but literally it was it will have different adapters so you can power 120, 240 volt outlets. So uh, that was that was pretty unique uh, in that in that case. So all things considered. Uh, just wanted to go ahead and thank you so much for our listeners and subscribers today for your time. Look, I hope this episode has brought to you a little bit more value uh, today. Uh, go ahead and, and click on the thumbs up uh, thumbs up icon below. Subscribe, share, comment uh, if you if you like our channel, if you think we earned it. So all things considered, thanks again for charging up with us today. Keep in mind, you can always find us at smartchargeamerica.com. And remember, folks, if you can't charge, you can't drive. We'll see you next time. Cheers.